Hello, and thank you so much for joining us for this lesson on how to set up fixed wireless internet service at your location. My name is Rachel Waters. Fixed wireless service is often the preferred solution of business customers who cannot be reached by DSL or cable, but do not have the budget for T1. Fixed wireless is also an excellent source for bandwidth redundancy as a backup bandwidth source in case your primary internet connection or bandwidth network goes down. Fixed wireless internet is available to approximately 98% of all homes and businesses in the United States. Fixed wireless service allows you to lock into the strongest internet signal of any of the three largest cell providers. These providers are AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint. You can order fixed wireless on a monthly basis for short-term use or with a one, two, or three-year contract for greater cost savings. Once you order fixed wireless service, you can usually have it set up and working as fast as four business days from the day you place your order. The most significant factor in setup time is the type of shipping option you choose for the delivery of the modem and antennas. For shipping, you can choose from several options that range from overnight to ground delivery, depending on your needs. Once you receive the equipment, you can usually set up the service in about 15 minutes. The remainder of this video will explain how to set up your wireless service once you receive your equipment. Here is an example of the box in which you receive the fixed wireless equipment. First we unpack the box to confirm that it contains all of the necessary equipment. As we unpack the equipment we find an ethernet cable, the power cord for the modem, the modem, and two antennas, each about the size of a small Pringles can. As you set up this equipment, it can be placed anywhere indoors that has access to an electrical outlet and is convenient for the needs of your company. The antennas are many times more powerful than an air card and are designed to receive a bandwidth circuit through the walls of your building. For this reason, you have many options for antenna placement. For example, you can place them in a windowsill, or you could place the antenna on a small section of your desk or a countertop. As you can see, the modem is about 4 inches long and about 1 inch high. On the back of the modem is a plug for each antenna, a plug for the Ethernet cord, and for the power cord. To increase placement flexibility, you can use an electrical extension cord so that the modem does not need to be placed near an inconvenient location. You can also substitute a longer Ethernet cord so that the modem and antennas will not need to be placed inconveniently close to your computer or internal network router. One end of the Ethernet cord plugs into the back of the router. The other end of the Ethernet cord can be plugged directly into your computer for single computer use. Multiple computers can share a single wireless bandwidth circuit, either via Ethernet connections or wirelessly, by connecting the Ethernet cord from the modem to a network router. Most of these inexpensive internal network routers can now provide both wired and wireless networks to other computers within the same building or to buildings within close proximity. They can be purchased for between $50 to $100 at any local Radio Shack store. Here's how you plug the antennas into the modem. Now that we have the antennas plugged into the modem, next we will plug in our Ethernet cable. Now we are ready to plug our power cord into our modem. Each of these antennas turns 360 degrees to lock into the strongest bandwidth signal for your location. You can do this with the assistance of customer service over the telephone. Once the strongest signal has been obtained for your location, you lock in the antenna by hand, tightening the screw on the side. This is an example of what a single laptop would look like working with wireless bandwidth service. In summary, with the antennas and the modem supplied by the wireless provider. Along with your own router, you can have internet service for a small group of users. Here is an illustration of how this would work. The antennas are plugged into the modem. The modem is plugged into the power outlet.
and the modem and the router are connected via Ethernet cable. With this configuration, your router provides internet service to a small group of internet users, either via Ethernet cable or wirelessly. If you would like to watch other videos which address related topics, please click on one of these green links or click the link directly beneath this video to use our patented real-time pricing tool. This pricing tool is easy to use and there is no obligation. Our pricing tool will assist you in checking prices and availability for any business telecom service for your business location including T1, Ethernet, Fiber, Voice, VOIP, larger circuits like DS3, FastE, or GigE, or networking between business locations for any location in the United States or international networks, please visit our website at www.fiberlinecommunications.com. I'm Jody Ellen, the Director of Training here at Fiberline Communications. Thank you for joining us today for this training session.